Hello everyone, just a few announcements before I start this video. Very soon, I'll no longer be using social media like Instagram and Facebook to promote my art and business. So I'd like to direct you to the avenues that I'll be using instead. I will still be using YouTube where I already post one video a month. Here you can see me work on my art and hear me chat about things of interest. I have a monthly newsletter blog where I share a bit about my art and projects that I'm working on, a little bit about the artist's life, and very soon artwork that I will have for sale. As part of my subscriber list, you'll be the first to hear about everything. And if you sign up now, you'll get a free gift in your welcome email. The sign up box is on my website. Speaking of, my website is the hub for everything. You can find links to every place that I am on the internet, my about page, my portfolio, how to get in contact, and how to buy my art. My website is at mistanigy.wixsite.com slash mistanigy. All links are below in the description box. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Danielle. Um, I'm an artist from Trinidad and Tobago and this is the fifth video on my new art channel. And um, I know I did say that this month was going to be the sketchbook look through but I decided to um, switch around um, this month and next month's video. So um, you'll get that next month in uh, June. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's because um, I thought um, I probably shouldn't have like art showcases back to back that and um, the editing for the last video took a lot longer than I expected and since I'm doing similar editing for that video I decided to give myself a break and do an easier video so it'll just be a talking and chatting video for this one and I'm going to tell you about why I decided to just sell original art only. Um, short story, it's because that's all I can really afford to do at the moment. Long story, um, I'll get into that in the video, so keep on watching. <laughs> so, before I get into the topic of this video, I want to talk a little bit about the artwork that I'm making in the video. Um, so this piece doesn't have a name yet at the moment. I'm just calling it the green uh, for obvious reasons <laughs> So um, this piece was um, another experimental uh, acrylic and ink piece um, done on one of the pieces of paper that I gessoed and um, I didn't want to hide too much of um, the colors and the patterns and stuff so um I went to my sketchbook for inspiration to look for a cool pattern and I decided um, I'm not sure what to call this kind of pattern but um, I basically paint lines down the page and then fill in the spaces with different patterns. Um, I showed my mommy and she said it looked like a laser skin cell so I might name the piece something to do with that. Um, but yeah, so while you enjoy the creation of this piece I will tell you a bit more about why. I've decided to only sell my original artwork. So I wrote everything that I wanted to talk about in points. Um, it's not a lot of points actually. So this is going to be shorter than I expected because I don't actually have a lot of reasons for why um, I want to just sell original art. But um, yeah, these are the reasons. <laughs> the first point is originals are affordable to make. And I mentioned that in the last clip. You know, that's because, you know, I've been an artist for how many years now? And because of that, I've collected all of these art supplies over the years. I have lots of watercolor paper, I have canvases, canvas boards, I have gesso, I have loads and loads of paintbrushes. <laughs> I have lots of paints, um, and watercolor paints last a lifetime. So like, if you want to become an artist for cheap, um, Become a watercolor artist because those paints last forever. <laughs> because I don't have to go out and buy a whole set of stuff, um, it's just a lot easier for me to just whip out a page or canvas board and make something. And honestly, that's effort and time better spent than, say, if I try to um, 
go get prints and stickers um, made. Like th that's always kind of stressful for me personally. And um, with that being said, I'll go into the next point, which uh, prints and stickers don't sell that well for me personally, and um, they cost money to make like over time things start adding up and especially when those prints and stickers don't sell like mine really sell um you know it start costing a lot and money kind of starts going down the drain yeah I, I don't really like having this stock of prints and stickers here that don't sell um one i don't have the space for that and two um it's kind of disheartening you know because i made these prints and stickers specifically to have more affordable options but you know that's not usually how it goes just because you have more affordable options um doesn't mean that people are gonna buy them you know um so because they're not being bought like i don't see the point in making them anymore it's for stickers especially um i don't really like making them i'm pretty neutral towards stickers in general like i don't see the hype um, that's the third point by the way. I don't like stickers or making them and uh, when I say I don't like them, like I said, I'm pretty neutral towards them. I don't see the hype. I honestly only made them because everybody else was so crazy about them. Um, but like I said, I don't like making them. For me, making them, uh, I have to um, hand cut my stickers because I get them printed on sheets. I don't have like a fancy cricket or anything. And I, I don't like cutting on stickers. It hurts my hand. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think I will ever offer stickers again, to be honest. Um, and especially for the newer audience that this artwork that I make is going to target. I don't think they'll really be into stickers. So, um... Fine by me, because uh, I don't like making them. <laughs> the only stickers that I'm going to get these days are like label stickers for my packaging and stuff. And I don't have to cut those out, so that will be great. <laughs> and um, my last point is uh, that I just want people to buy my original paintings. Like, in the past, I won't advertise my originals as much because oh they cost so much and oh people might not want to buy them because it's too much money um, but like they can't exactly buy them if you don't advertise them because other more push my prints and stickers because they will be more affordable options but um, I already told you how that went <laughs> but um, I want people to buy my originals um, I have no um, problem with parting with my original paintings and um, for the few times where people did buy my originals, I felt really, really excited and really, really good. Because, uh, oh my gosh, I sold a, sold a painting. <laughs> Salt? That's not a word, I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, I sold a painting. And um, yeah, honestly, I'd rather sell a $100 or $200 painting than a $6 print. Like, that feels a lot more satisfying. And, um, you know, I get real money out of it like i can't do much with six dollars in trinidad but a hundred like i could save that and that could grow you know <laughs> yeah so um those are my points i actually didn't have as much as i thought i would um and this video needs to be a little bit longer i, I only have like about five or six minutes on the clock so um i want to talk a little bit about um doing local markets this year um, I've decided that I'm gonna do a couple uh, closer to the end of the year like Christmas time to get as much sales as possible but yeah it's so I've done markets two markets in the past my first one was a Christmas market and um, you know I was quite nervous to see how that went and uh, it went great um, money wise not so much my table was like I think it was 375 and I only made 175 but um the experience itself was really cool and that had me really excited to do it again um that was in 2019 though and uh you know what happened in 2020 <laughs> so the next time i got um to the table at a market was in 2021 i believe or was it or was it 2022 is either 21 or 22 but it was in april it was at a different market again the experience was great but money wise my table was four hundred dollars and i made 172 um 
that was on me because instead of bringing stuff that you know cost money i brought ten dollar prints and six dollar stickers mm. um i'll definitely be making a video specifically to talk about market stuff um and you know definitely i want to vlog um future market experiences because i didn't do that in the past because i was too embarrassed but like these days everybody have their phone out to post stuff on social media so like um there's no point in being embarrassed you know <laughs> yeah so um another reason why i plan to do markets this year is because i got my bank account yay i, I can't remember which video i mentioned it in but um i was saying that um i was waiting on my business bank account to um you know be sorted and you know oh it was gonna take such a long time because stuff takes a long time yeah like we, we just take we sweet time but um i got it and i'm really excited because um now i could um like accept um card payments at the market so that would be really cool yes so i believe that is all i have to say for this video it's a bit on the short side but um we'll see how short or how long when i finish edit it um so yeah i hope you enjoyed uh the painting and listening to me ramble a bit <laughs> And while I did mention it in a little avid video in the beginning, I thought I'd mention it again. Um, you know, definitely sign up for my newsletter if you're interested in um, hearing a bit more about my art. Um, I don't really talk about it much on YouTube. I just talk about whatever's on my mind or um, whatever piece I'm working on in that video. Um, and because I'll be leaving social media by 2024 definitely um follow me here on youtube um keep up to date with my website and um again uh subscribe to my newsletter i am thinking of possibly starting up a blog again i'm not sure um but i'll keep you up to date on that yep so that's definitely all i have to say now <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next month's video which is going to be the sketchbook video that I promised for this month. <laughs> okay, bye bye.